All right, guys, so I finally hit level 100. I have one issue I wanted to talk about right now, and that is how difficult Diablo was actually making it for me to try different things. So obviously I hit level 100. I only have 33 mil. A lot of people in the hundreds might have over 100 mil or so. Um, but even then, you know, you have a few million. Um, Rerolling items is kind of costly. Uh, to have end gear game, you're going to need to reroll items. You're going to need to enchant them, right? So for example, let's just look at this for example. Uh, I rolled it a few times, maybe once or twice as a weapon, it's 1.5 mil. So if I needed to reroll this a bunch or try to get a good affix on it, it could be very expensive, it could take very long, or I might just have to give up on the item. And I've had to do that for many items. I just start looking for, you know, an item that I just need to improve a little bit. And, you know, I just don't get any good rolls. The rolls are really bad in this game that I found. Uh, currently stuck on this. This is actually pretty decent for clearing, um, you know, farming dungeons where you're killing a lot of elites anyways. Um... But generally, look at the price for all of these. Uh, so boots, 555k, and you know you just get basic things like 60 willpower. Really not that great. Uh, I actually might want to replace. Yeah, let's th let's test it out. Okay, yeah, I got strength or spirit cost reduction. Spirit cost reduction. Actually, you know what? I'll take it because um, I could use that with a pulverized build. However, there's some other issues still. Uh, but look at the cost of this. 1.6 mil. This one is now 650k. So boots might be a little cheaper. Cheaper. Still costs a lot of money. Think about doing it multiple times. Um, these gloves are 1.2 mil. I gave up on all stats. All stats are decent. Uh, something like cooldown would have been better, um, or something else. Uh, even spare cost reduction, if that's a rule. Uh, you know, I can't roll my uniques, which is kind of sad. I kind of wish they allow you allowed you to do that as well. Look at the garbage max life roll on that. It's literally minimum roll. That's kind of sad. Uh, so hopefully I get a better helmet there for this build. Um, and stuff like this. Look at this amulet. It's 2 mil. I had to give up on this. I was able to use it. It's 15% damage for this build, but I had to give up on that. You know, something else would be nice. Um, I might look for another amulet with cooldown and some other things. Just for a more utility-focused build, uh, I started to adjust this build after 100 to be in werebear form uh, more often, or to be in ultimate form more often, I should say. My Look at my ring. I have a 2 out of 4 umbral. That's a horrible roll, but uh, all I got, uh, this also costs 1.2 mil and 870k for this. I don't even think I've rolled it. I've rolled it maybe once or twice, but I got Chris Strike damage, so that works. So, as you can see, it is quite expensive to roll your gear. And yes, that's part of the game. That's expected. I Every time I got around 10 mil while leveling up, I almost used all of it. Like, I used maybe 7 mil at a time. And then once I hit another tier of items, I hit another 7 mil spent. It was tough. Uh, and finally, through farming uh, to level 100, obviously, I got enough gold. I got around 34, 35 mil gold. Costs a lot. Now, my one issue here. All right. No one wants to play the same build for their entire time while playing a game. Okay, that's going to be pretty boring. Maybe if you do, all right, good for you. But most people do not. All right, so now just as an example, I took out, you know, a handful of items here. Um, this would essentially be a very good Storm Claw build. All right, so if I wanted to rock a Storm build, if uh, I wanted to change this up, uh, I'd be able to do that. Uh, you know, put it on this weapon, put it on this helmet. Um, you know, maybe run Temerity, have some healing built in. Mad Wolf's Bleed, so I'm always a werewolf. Here. Sure. All right, that works. Then I go to Abilities. Look at my skill tree. Okay, I can refund all. Probably cost a little bit. Uh, 75k per node. It's actually around 4.4 million gold just to respect your full tree. So if I click refund all, I would lose 4.4 mil. That definitely adds up if I'm going to be doing it multiple times. I know this game is clearly not meant to respec constantly. It's not like D3. Um, I guess it's supposed to be less arcadey, but at the same time, it gives you less options. It makes you grind a lot more just for variety in the game. Now, that's not even my main complaint yet. So obviously that's that's kind of rough, but if you want to change a build, you know, try something new, that's okay. It's going to cost 3 mil, say it didn't work out. Okay, fine, another 3 mil or 4 mil. So it's going to cost around 8 mil, uh, 8 to 9 mil just to try uh, something and get back to my current build. Not only that, there's no saved build, so I can't just save this and, you know, pay the minimum amount of money it would cost to respec it. Um, and the same thing with the Paragon boards. So if I wanted to change something, I would have to change my armor, I'd have to change my skill tree and change my Paragons, and it's not saved. I would actually have to... Uh, if I wanted to come back to this, for example, this is the Werebear uh, Pulverize build. It's literally one of the best builds for uh, Druids. Then I would have to just do it all manually, spend a lot of time just wasting in, in bank, bank standing. No one likes that. And I would have to spend a ton of money, in-game money, and you know probably run out. And I would have to grind a ton more just to just to have that freedom to play with a build. And at level 100, um, you know, picking up a decent amount of gold on the way, I would still have that issue. Now, the even worse issue, let's look at Paragon points, yes. So my understanding is we have 220 total Paragon points, and that includes my total that I've earned from Renown, as you can see, you know, done a lot of work to get those Paragon points. 220 uh, Paragon points. 
right now let's look at the price to just refund one of those it's forty thousand gold and yeah as you can see where i'm getting at that will add up to 8.8 .8 mil just to reset this as well so there's obviously no refund all button so if i wanted to do that i'd have to start right clicking and removing them all going all the way back to the starting board so any build I want to do, I would have to hope that it's somewhat related and I can use the same Paragon boards. And for example, going from a Werebear build to a Werewolf Storm skill, those are two opposite ends of the Jude corner. So uh, there might be a few things that's usable, such as, oh, Max Life and Armor. This one's really good. But the Legendary nodes are not going to be that useful. Inner Beast, obviously, that's something applicable to both. You might be able to make it work. Something like this, Nature Magics, that might be able to work. But these, these are stuff that you usually take later on in the build process. But the fact that I do have all my Paragon points, you know, I could just leave it on. But the only issue is now, because when you're starting the game, you're going to go for, for boards that are more applicable and more damage oriented then. I started off with Werebear. So I only have four boards on. And as you can see here, my first board after the starting board is a Werebear board. So the only way to get rid of that is bring my boards all the way back to my starting board. And to do that, I'd have to spend a crap ton of money. I'd have to spend all the 8 mil. I'd have to respec everything. And it's a pain, right? I can't save this. I can't come back to it. Even if I was able to pay for that amount, I can't save it and just uh, click a button to kind of reassemble this. Can't really use the legendary. Now. So I like if I want to just test something out, maybe I just drop the legendary and just stack some rare nodes. But armor and werebear, not useful. Uh, overpower damage, not really useful. Werebear skill damage, not useful. So this is pretty much a, a garbage paragon board. And if I want to test out a build and maybe, you know, show it to others, you're going to want to reset your Paragon board. So definitely does not give you the option to try out different things. I obviously got a bunch of gear during my uh, leveling phase. This is pretty much my current build of earth items and other things. Here we have other random aspects that are useful. And then over here we got companions and we got storm skills and we have werewolf skills. So I can't really use much. If I wanted to just try this build and possibly come back, maybe it's not that good. Um, just for one different build, I'm going to have to spend over 25 million and that's all my money so i you know so because of that i don't even really want to try that it makes it really hard to want to go and do this so it does make it tougher and i might have to stick with the pulverized build a little longer do some more nightmare runs upgrade my glyphs do other things like that before i even have the chance to play with another build and that's something i think there is a problem with i think changing your build should be more accessible playing the game should be accessible you know getting loot should be one of the harder parts and it is and it took a long time to get these items so i don't think i should be punished in a sense that it'll be hard for me to switch my build at this point at end game it's a lot more difficult and you definitely need to stack a lot of money uh, i almost sell all of my gear uh, all my legendaries i get i sell them because i need the money so it's a lot tougher to play and i think that's an issue what do you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comments if you're also a high level that's struggling with money let me know but if you want to change your build and you can't that's also a big issue so uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts, guys. If there's anything you guys want to see, maybe another build, let me know. Just kidding. I can't do that because I can't afford it. <laughs> but eventually, I will definitely be doing that. So uh, even though it costs a lot of money, we're probably going to try out as many things as we can. Our, our Storm Shred Werewolf, uh, a Claw Werewolf, a Companion build. We got a lot of ideas. I definitely want to try them out. But uh, for now, I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.